Welcome, Snack Tackers. My name is Jason, and I have another potentially fantastic product to review for you guys today. But first, I want to remind you to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, all the fun YouTube stuff. Now, let's get talking about this product. Well, something is continuing a theory that I made of mine, and something is uh, kind of interesting in this. Let's get it out, and let's get talking about it. This is the Kroger brand Sweet and Salty Granola Bars Peanut Cashew and Caramel Flavor. Now what's interesting that continues my theory is that for some reason Sweet and Salty I posited uh, uses purple. It utilizes purple as its um, little, little label thing. And this continues it. There was the Sweet and Salty uh, Club Crackers. There was Sweet and Salty something else. Every time we get Sweet and Salty, purple is its defining color. And that's interesting to me because why would purple denote sweet and salty? Is it because the other colors have already been claimed by something? Let's go through it. Red is original for chewy granola bar, but red on other things is... What's red? What is red? It's original, right? Because it's always the base. Orange is almost always the peanut butter or peanut butter chocolate chip. Yellow... What's yellow? You know what, purple sometimes an oatmeal raisin too, I've noticed that. I don't know what correlation that has to everything. What's blue? What's green? Huh, maybe not all the colors are perfectly defined. I can't think of what flavor would be green or what flavor would be blue. This was purchased at Mariano's for $2.79. I know I said Kroger brand, I know it says it's Kroger brand, but as you know, Kroger and Mariano's, same company. Let's get it open and see if inside it is purple or if it's just like a brown or silver. It's a brown with the purple label. Are these healthy for you? Not really. Peanut cashew and caramel. That's the other thing that was interesting. You don't often see the nut cashew in these trail bars. You frequently see peanut, obviously, sometimes you see pistachio, but cashew, not often. Almond as well, sometimes you see. Ooh, that is interesting. In a yogurt-flavored coating, I didn't read that. It's granola bars dipped in yogurt-flavored coating, naturally and artificial flavored. It's yogurt that's flavored, right? Not yogurt-flavored. Smells delicious. I, I mean, it smells good. Let's give it a try. Three, two, one, snack attack. Hmm. It's not bad. It is sweet and it is pretty salty. That being said, the flavor of cashew does not come through very distinctly. Neither does caramel. You do get oat, you do get peanut, but the other intended flavors aren't really there. Hmm. That being said, I do like it better than an original Chewy Bar, and it does have some complexity to its flavor. It is sweet and salty, as it's specified, I just don't get the individual notes of the elements that are there. Which is not bad, because the overall is the flavor it said it was. It is sweet and salty. It is a snack tech, yes. Out of 10, let's go with a 8.5 out of 10. Kinda high, but not too high. It is better than a normal chewy. It isn't better than the peanut butter chewy or peanut butter chip chewy or a lot of the other things that we have had in the past and may have in the future. But the question we ask around here is not what do the other colors denote? What do you think is a green chewy bar? Or, um, or a blue chewy bar? What colors are those? I think blue also used to be chocolate chip, if I recall correctly. Red and blue? Huh, I don't know. No, it's would you buy it again? Unfortunately not. It does have 160 calories per bar, and 10% 10 uh, 10 of your daily value of sugar, 5 grams of sugar, but... There's just better options out there, both health and taste-wise. So, no. But remember to check Instagram, TikTok, all the fun social media stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.